a man has 10,000 pe 10, pesos to invest. He invests 4,000 pesos at 5% and 3,500 pesos at 4%. In order to have a yearly income of 500 pesos, he must invest the remainder at what's the percentage? Okay? So a man has 10,000 pesos to invest. He invests the 4,000 at 5%. Then the 3,500 invest at 4%. So now the remainder is the remainder is if the total investment was already made is 7,500 so the remaining the remaining uh, the remaining is 2,500 and he wants to have a yearly income of 500 pesos he must at what percent that the 2,500 pesos as the remainder be invest at what percent so let's try 6.4% Okay, it's 6.4%. I will show you how this was arrived. The solution is that income from 4,000 pesos at 5% in one year uh, is equal to 4,000 of 5%, which is 200 pesos. Okay, 200 pesos. 4,000 of investment at 5% it will earn 200 pesos income from 3,500 pesos at 4% is equals to 140 pesos so so you have now 200 pesos plus 100 pesos plus 140 pesos will give us 340 pesos the man wants to have a 500 pesos so the remaining is 160 pesos So therefore, the formula is that principal, multiply it with the rate and with the time. So uh, the interest, the formula is interest equals principal plus the rate plus the time. So our interest here is 116 pesos. 116 pesos. And our principal here is 2,500 pesos. The rate is the let be the x and the time is one year so mathematically it will become interest 160 equals 2500 that is our that is our principal multiply it with the rate the percentage and multiply it with one year so it will become i will show you later how the answer is 6.4 percent i will show how this was arrived Next, 25 plus 38 will give us the common, um, the LCD is 40, 40 divided by um, 5, 8, 16 plus um, 5, 15, 18 plus 5, 18 plus 5, um, Strike 31. It's 31. Continue. Mr. Jones sold two pipes at 1.20 each based on the cost. His profit one was 20% and his loss on the other was 20% on the sale of the pipes. So profit is 20% and loss is 20%. So Let's try here, bro. Even okay. The answer is lost 10 cents. Why? The selling price of the first pipe is 1.20. The profit is 20%. So multiply the 20% with 1.20. So it will become cost price. Your CP is equal to selling price minus the profit okay to cut it short i will show a separate presentation to show how this was made okay how um 
there is a loss of 10 cents. Ah. Continue. <clears throat> we have 31 over 40. Which of the following fractions is equal to 5 all over 6? Simply, um, it is um, 20 all over 30, 15 all over 24, 40 all over 54, it's 25 all over 30. Um, the, common, the greatest common factor is 5. It's 25 all over 30. Next, what is the 3 fifth of 50? 3 fifth. So multiply it with 50, it becomes 150 divided by 5 um, will give us 30. Let's try. Okay, check. Multiply 3 fifth with 50. Simply multiplying fractions. If 5 ounces is equal to 140 grams and 2 ounces of ground meat is equal to how many grams so this is a what you call this a conversion of measurement but let's try uh, 896 okay since there are 82 ounces 32 ounces in 2 pounds in which 16 ounces is equal to 1 pound uh, simply the following proportion may be written with in which 5 ball over 140 equals 32 all over x solving 4x gives 30 in 896 thus there are 896 grams so i will make a separate presentation on how it was arrived to have a clear picture continue in a writing competition the first place or the best the first place winner receives one half of the price money the second runner up receives one fourth the of what the winner won. And what was the total amount of price money distributed if the winner receives um, six thousand pesos? So what is the total number of money distributed? In which um, the winner receives six thousand pesos. The first placer receives one half, so three thousand. The second runner up will receive one fourth. One fourth of six thousand is one thousand five hundred. Let's try. Six thousand plus three thousand is um, nine thousand. Nine thousand plus one thousand five hundred. Okay. Let's try to the near. So thousand. The following equation may be solved. X is to six thousand and one half x so i will make another presentation continue during a back to school sale an additional of 15 percent is taken off the discounted price julie a student at the local high school purchases a float for 306 pesos how much did it originally cost so Um, the rate, the discounted rate is 15% and then our original price will be our X. So original price plus 15% of the original price which is 306. Uh, I will show you a presentation on how to do this. A separate presentation. Uh, a separate presentation on how to solve this so let's try um, let's go to a lesser how much did it originally cost let's try it's 400 pesos I will show another a pre, another presentation on how it was being sold or achieved. 
continue. The ratio of a right triangle of adjacent to hypotenuse is its cosines. Always remember the so katoa. So, sine its opposite over hypotenuse. Ka its cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. Toa its tangent opposite all over hypotenuse. Continue. The number of milliliters in one liter is blank. So in one liter, there is um, milliliters. Milliliters. So let's try 1,000. Yes. One milliliters is equal to one liter. Which of the following is the sign of angle A in the right angle below? So our theta will be angle A, sine its opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite of angle A is 12. The opposite of angle A is 12. While the hypotenuse is 13, so 12, 12 all over 13. Okay. The answer is 12 all over 13. Next, 0 0.16 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.08 will give us what? Simply, 6 plus 8 will give us 14. Oh, yes, 14. So, simply 0 0.34. Very simple. Next, Sharon weighed 5, 6 over yard in the morning and 1, 6 of the yard in the afternoon. What part of the yard did she weave all, to, all together? So simply, um, weave it in the morning, um, weave it in the afternoon, and what part of the yard did she weave all together? Simply add first 5, 6, of, uh, and 1, 6, which is, will give us 1. Subtract it with 1. 1. All together, simply by adding 5, 6, and 1, 6 will give us 1. Jones covered a distance of 50 miles on his first trip and, all, and on a later trip, he traveled 300 miles while going 3 times as fast. Yes, his new time compared with the old time was twice as much the same twice as much half as much so 50 miles then the next is 300 miles um it should be let's try half as much okay it's twice as much twice as much here's the computation What is the value of x when 2x plus 3 equals 3x minus 4? I will show you how to solve x for this. Simply um, combining all the terms 2x um, and combining all the terms. So uh, let's try uh, negative. Uh, 2x 3 the answer is positive 7 I will show you a on a separate presentation on how this one be. the same also with this I will show you if y do the quantity of x minus 1 you will see simply our x will become um, z all over y plus 1 i will show you how to deal with this next what is 409 uh, 4995 divided by 15 um simply metal math yes it will take time uh, if it will take us time to solve this let's go to the near uh, mirror probability 
Let's try 333. Check. The answer is 333. Continue. Which of the fraction is the smallest? It's the smallest. The bigger number um, becomes the smallest. Uh, let's try um, 213. 2 over 13. Yes, correct. 213 is the smallest of all. Because the value of 2 third it's um, 0 0.66. The value of 2 9 it's 0 0.22. The value of 2 13 is 0 0.15. And the value of 2 11 it's 0 0.18. Next. Which of the following is, has the smallest value? Smallest value? The more zeros. It's it's 0 0.00001 more the greater uh, more zeros than the smallest its value oh okay Let's multiply 0 0.00072 times 10,000 simply um, if you will multiply um, tens with zeros with a decimal simply move the decimal to the right so if you have 10,000 you have one two three four you have four and so therefore move it to the right to become a whole number so it will become um one two three four seven point two i will show you a separate presentation now to do this the answer is seven point two next students mailed invitations to play a to play a to a play to 414 parents so the students mailed invitations each student mailed 18 invitations if s equals the number of students who mailed invitations which equation best shows the number of invitations that were mailed so simply it's multiplying the 18 uh, the 18 invitations to the number of students so 18 s equals 414 18s all over 440. Next. How many degrees are there in right angles? Simply 90 degrees. Oh. Right angle. Next. Okay. 